Mary Gannon, Senior Editor with Fluid Power World, and I'm here today with Mark Hoffman from Rota Engineering. Mark is going to talk a little bit about the company's EL model of external sensors. Great. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, Rota Engineering has actually been making sensors since the early 90s. We really started with the oil and gas industry, mm -hmm. which is a, a very large portion of our business today, but what my group focuses on is more of the military or agriculture, construction, mining, to okay. name a few. Great. So all of our technology that I work with is based on the Hall Effect technology. Mm -hmm. So what we have is the PC board is where the Hall chips live, okay. and then they're placed inside of the mechanical package, be it aluminum or stainless steel, just depending upon the application. Okay. And for us, we just need two components to make this technology work. We have the sensor and we have the magnet. The magnetic field actually communicates with the hull chips internally and causes them to give an output that the microprocessor understands and then it converts it to something that's uh, current output or voltage or digital, something specified for the customer's application. Okay. So what we're talking about today is our external technology. Okay. And this is something that is unique to Rota. We have actually patented this where we have a magnet that is placed inside the cylinder okay. and it can actually propagate the field up through the carbon steel wall and communicate with the sensor that's mounted outside. Oh wow. Now the advantages to that are there's no gun drilling cost. Okay. So we had applications in the past that they were extremely long cylinders mm -hmm. and the cost of gun drilling when we did a sample about five years ago, it was anywhere from two to five dollars an inch to gun drill. Wow, that's a lot. So I'm working on an application today that's an 89 foot stroke cylinder. Wow. So can it's you imagine machine. the cost of gun drilling? <laughs> that would not be that would not be cheap. It would not. Absolutely. So that is a perfect solution, this external technology, so that the magnet is inside, it communicates with the sensor outside. Does it also offer um, simplicity for maintenance and things like that because it's on the outside as well? That's, that's a great point, it really does. So it's mounted externally so that during troubleshooting phases or if they want to upgrade the sensor to say a different output, it's simply pulled off and a new one is put back on the cylinder. Great. So some of the things again we talked about, there's no gun drilling so mm -hmm. it lowers the cost of the application. Sure. It has uh, easy field replaceability, as you pointed out. It also, just inherently in the Hall Effect technology, is the high vibration capability where we've actually tested to 75G wow. at 10 to 20,000 hertz for 18 hours. Some applications out there or some competing technologies, you'll see they'll offer something at a third of that for one hit. So we're talking about 18 hours sustaining that kind of vibration. It's a big deal. So what kind of applications are these really most suitable for? Uh, where we really focus on this technology, the external, is for say a steering cylinder that's okay. a double-ended cylinder so you cannot put a sensor inside okay. or the very long stroke applications. And we tend to say that somewhere after 22 inches is where this technology, the external, starts to really make economic sense. Absolutely. So I'm sure people would like to learn a little bit more about where they can use this and how they can use it. Great. So I would encourage them to go to rota-eng.com. Thank you. And as always, visit www.fluidpowerworld.com. And thanks for watching.